Joining us now for more is Richard Krauss, film critic and host of CTV's Pop Life. Richard, thank you so much for joining us today on this. I want to get your reaction to Larry King's passing, first of all. I was a big fan of uh, Larry King and his interview style. As we just heard uh, in the report there, uh, people said that he threw uh, softball questions at his guests, and I don't agree. I think that what he did was kept his... Uh, questions short, he kept them punchy, uh, and helped people open up. Some of the stories that he got people to tell on air uh, were remarkable because he asked questions that other journalists simply didn't. He cared about people. Uh, he knew that people want to hear about people. And I love this story that Ted Koppel tells about Larry King. Koppel, who's a journalist and hardcore news person, says that if they went to a fire and a fire fighter was rushing out of the uh, building, uh, Ted Koppel would ask, what started the fire? Larry King would ask, why did you want to become a fireman? <laughs> it was the, his curiosity about people that fueled every question that he ever asked. That's right. And, you know, his show, Larry King Live, ran for a quarter of a century. Uh, he had a career before that, afterwards in broadcasting, of course, a really long history in that field. What stood out to you about his career? Um, I, again, I think it was his his interview style and the way he got people to open up. Marlon Brando kissed him on the air. He asked uh, President Ronald Reagan what it was like to be shot and got quite a remarkable answer from him there. Uh, you know, there are 50,000 interviews that he did as a radio and television broadcaster. It's a, a remarkable body of work that he leaves behind. And it really is... Uh, a profile uh, it taken in its entirety of uh, the 20th century. He interviewed every president uh, for the last 40 or so years, uh, world leaders, uh, everyone from pop culture, everyone uh, who had ever written a book, it seemed, passed through the Larry King show. So he left behind a document uh, of what that era was like, what his time on television was like. That's almost unparalleled. It's a really, really deep well of, uh, of knowledge left behind. And he covered huge stories like the O.J. Simpson trial. That's, I think, probably when I became uh, really, really a big fan of Larry King. I'd heard the radio show. I liked the way that he dealt with the callers and that kind of thing. But it was his coverage of uh, the O.J. Simpson trial, uh, starting with him being on the air when the white Bronco slow speed chase happened. Uh, and he broadcast from there and then continued on on that theme for months during the trial. And it was fascinating and riveting stuff that showed kind of both sides of uh, what was happening in that trial from the defense and the prosecution. And Richard, we only have about 30 seconds here, but you know, he was such a legend. Do you think that there's anyone who could step into his shoes? Pierce uh, uh, Morgan tried uh, on CNN for a little while uh, and it didn't work. I think that uh, Larry King's curiosity, his general uh, knowledge about uh, people and wanting to learn about people. He had a sense of humor. He was the entire package. And I'm not sure that there's anyone quite like him on television, which is why I think his career lasted for 60 years, because he was uh, unique and unlike anyone else. Definitely. Okay. Richard Krauss, film critic and host of CTV's Pop Life. Thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me, Lois.